If you're bored enough to want to draw a fish in Python, then you're in the right place. I randomly came across this plot and a bunch of other cool plots. You can find the link to the source in the captions. I decided to try plotting this fish. The image itself is made up of a thousand line segments. Now for these line segments, we have the coordinates of the endpoints. These endpoints are computed using these equations. So for each and every one of these lines, we have the coordinates of the starting point and the end point of that line. We want to compute this, then connect the dots and do this in masses in order to get to this plot. Okay, let's do this, let's do this, just do it. I have already imported the necessary libraries for this purpose and also initialized two empty lists to store the coordinates of these endpoints. We would like to generate a thousand lines and therefore we need a for loop with a thousand steps. Let's now just implement the formulas. We now first need to update the containers. And now we have all the information that we need to plot these line segments. I chose line widths to be smaller than usual because we are going to have a lot of lines and this way it would look a bit better. Let's check the results. And we can already see that we have the results that we were looking for. Let's make it a little bit fancier by first setting the axis off. Great, it looks better, but at the same time, as you can see in some parts, like for example here or here, we see that the lines have been densely plotted. We can make this look a little bit better by passing in non values in between each pair. This will make the result look like this, which is a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Let's also just for the fun of it, uh, give it a blue background as if our fish is in the water. So I'm going to store this in thick and I'm going to give it a background color. Let's give it light blue. Yes, now we have a fish in water. Perfect. Now you can play with the plot a little bit, change the variables. Like for example, if we have, um, if we plot less lines, we can see how the process is forming itself. We can see now that we kind of see the pattern. And um, except that one can also play, for example, with the coordinates and that changes the shape of the plot. Like for example, I here remove the power from the Y1. And as you can see in front of the plot, now we have a more curvy line. Okay, you will find the link to the codes in the captions. And with that, this video comes to an end. Thanks a lot for watching.